Hello, welcome to Hank's Maker Mentor. You've been using your Cricut, you've got little bits of vinyl or paper or other materials left over that you don't want to throw away because they're big enough for something, but you don't know how to use them on the mat since they're not full size. Today we're going to go over a feature in Design Space on iOS, so with your iPhone and iPad that you can use to make this really simple. You can also do this with the desktop or with Android. You just have to manually work a little bit harder at it. So let's dive into Design Space and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut a project. It has these four designs on it and they're all cut out of the exact same material. It's the StarCraft Soft Flex. They're all pretty small, about three inches each. So they don't take up a whole mat. They can all fit on one, but I need them out of four different colors. So today we're going to use snap mat to help get that all lined up so I can do it in one cut instead of four separate cuts. As I have it set up, if I click make it, each of these is going to be on its own separate mat, which is four different times I need to load press go, wait for it to cut, and unload the mat. I'm gonna take all four and select them, and then go into edit, and under cut, I'm gonna click on it. So right now, because it's the four, it shows me the question mark. I'm gonna change them all to this light purple, because it should be easy to see, and then I'm gonna click apply, and then I'm gonna go in and click make it. My mirror is off. Because this is iron on, I do need to come in here and click mirror. And then I can close that. And then I'm gonna tell it that I'm using snap mat. So I'm going to start by setting each of these up on the mat. So I'm gonna put one in each corner just to make it a little bit easier when I'm trying to line them up. If you have a whole bunch of small things that you need to cut, you can line up more than one. I'm trying to make sure I put the correct side down on the white. It's a little bit harder to tell than it is on the other colors. One of the things I love about this heat transfer vinyl is that it's matte instead of glossy. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on Snap Mat. If you've never used Snap Mat before, it's going to ask you for permission to access your camera. It tells you to position the mat close to frame edge and the app will scan it automatically. So it did it super quick and easy. You can decide whether you want to use it or retake it. I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna click use. You'll see the overlay of my designs on here. So now I'm gonna move them around. So now they are all set. I can go ahead and click continue. I am going to do this as everyday iron on. It needs my fine point blade and it is ready to be loaded in. So I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna press go. It's going to start cutting. So at this point, I can go start working on something else while it cuts because I don't have to worry about being here the entire time to swap out the mats. So I'm going to move to a different part of my craft room and take the little bit of time to work on something else. So I was able to walk away, get some other stuff done. It's all done cutting, so I'm gonna go ahead and click unload. And they are all set, so I can just go and pull each of them off the mat. If you're not using Cricut Design Space on an iOS device, you can still do the same idea where you fit multiple things of different colors onto the same sheet. You'll just have to figure it out by yourself based off of the grids on your sheet. If you'd like to see a video of how to do this on Android or desktop or both, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and click subscribe so you can see when those videos do get released. Thanks for joining me where I help you learn how to make. Until next time, bye.